Uh, you know, I got it when I was, I couldn't even tell you. Somebody in Nebraska said it, it kind of stuck. It wasn't my choice. I didn't even like it, to be honest, but you don't, you don't choose your nicknames. If you could change it, what would it be? Um, well, it's soon to be the title of world champ. That's, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. I love what you're doing on Twitter, getting under Rory's skin a little bit, making it interesting for the fans. Uh, what, what enticed that to, to start calling him out on Twitter? Well, I don't, I don't call people out. I think Rory is, uh, you know, let's, let's talk about me. Let's not talk about Rory. I know I'm confident in what I what I can do. The skills I bring to the table. Um, he, <laughs> I don't I don't buy it. I don't buy. I don't. He's 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 a he's a skilled fighter, but he's he hasn't. He's fought some 55ers. He's fought some guys. So like, he's been he's been invented by the media. Like the, the the media's invented him and sold him to the fans, and they bought it up. And uh, you know I'm just looking forward to to prove it to to showing that. You know what I mean? He's um, are they selling us wolf tickets, as Nick Diaz would say, on, on Rory McDonald? Are you not impressed with any of his uh, performances? Uh, well, no, I acknowledge that he's skilled, you know what I mean? Like, he has some skills. But to put him in the top five, even the top ten, against, like, I, I'm trying to, I, I couldn't even tell you um, a legitimate top five guy or top ten guy that he's beat. Ka Carlos Condit was a very, was, was a very tough test, which, he was doing very well against Kanye, but he came, but he came short at the end. Uh, but again, I, I'm focused on myself, on what I what I'm doing, what I'm you know where I'm going, what I got to do better. So, uh, are you preparing anything special to prepare for his skill set? That not that you want to give away any any of your game plan or anything like that, but are there certain areas in your game that you're working on, knowing that you know Rory might be strong in certain aspects? Um, or do you really think you're just going to go through and walk through him? I, well, I don't think I'm going to walk through him, but I know I know I'll be I know I'll win in some way, shape, or form. But like I said, it, he's, he hasn't really dealt with some high-level competition at that, that top level of adversity. Um, but you know, Roy, he's he's been able to he does well when he's the bully. You know what I mean? That, that's why I'm looking forward to this fight because when he can bully guys, he does really well. But we haven't seen him be bullied yet. We haven't seen him get pushed, and, and uh, that's you know that's that's my plan. That's, I, I I acknowledge what he's good at, and I've, I've you know I've been training specifically for what he's good at, and, and uh, you know that I'm looking forward to, to showing that the unpredictability factor. You know what I mean? Have you had a chance to size him up in person? Uh, no, nah, no, I haven't. Are you worried about his size? Because he's a big 170 pounder as well. Uh, he's tall. Yeah, he's definitely tall. But you know, the the, be the beautiful part about the situation is I've, you know, I've been training with other guys a lot bigger than me for, for a long time. You know, even from from Mark Munoz. You know, a lot of the middleweights that I train with, um, and even some of the Muay Thai fighters here. It's it's, it's been you know they're they're great stylistically training partners for for Rory. A win over Rory McDonald does that catapult you right to a, an immediate title shot in your opinion? Yeah, well, in my opinion, in my opinion, but probably doesn't really matter. But uh, I was told this would be an one kind of fight for sure. And it's 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 good to see that there's a, a date set for GSP and then Hendricks.